Well, it's the Battle of Manchester back at it again here at the JFK Memorial Coliseum. We have the Manchester Kings and the Trinity Pioneers ready to go at it on this Wednesday, the January 10th. And Kyle Heavey and Rich McDonough from Manchester Public Television excited to be here. And Rich, we've seen these two teams face each other again, but to be in the regular season and not in tournament, this game is going to be a very important matchup for both squads. Amen. The Christmas unis are off and they're ready to tee it up. And Trinity uh, got off the schneid the other day beating the defending champ BG Cardinals 5-2 right here in a game we got to call, which was high octane. And it was a lot of fun to watch. Manchester comes in 2-1 and one and they cracked into the top 10. Number 10 in the uh, Hockey Night in Boston uh, poll here. So they're excited, everybody's excited, so are we. Let's rock and roll here at JFK Arena. And a battle of who, you know, bragging rights, I guess, for the J is, uh, these two teams, as you said, a big loss here for Trinity, though, is Brandon Walsh, who is out after a concussion in yeah. the BG win. One of their stalwart defenders. And right out of the gate, number 27, Ron Zello, goes flying down the left side of the ice, takes a shot, steered away by Velez. And uh, Ron Zello was huge in that game the other day, and he continues his pace. And he's going to have to because they got a big shoes to fill with Walshy out. And for Go ahead, Kyle. And for Manchester, obviously, they did not play on Saturday due to the snowstorm, so they have a lot of fresh legs here because they have not played, but rust also could be a factor here for not being able to play in a regular season game. Practice is great, but it's really a battle of, uh, you know, getting understanding where each other are, and right here, nice save to keep yeah. it in is Cunningham. Yep. Anyway, getting in the corner away. The Kings want to possess, and they do so. They get it to the corner. Big swing and shot right there by uh, Martin. And at 13.49, good save by, uh, it's not LaBelchik today, they're, they're a reliable four-year uh, starter, it's Hepler. And uh, he also, we've seen him in action, he's a very good goaltender. And he stops this one and we're gonna have a face off. And we see Flynn going to the dot against, cannot see from the crouch. And it looks like uh, Centrino. Centrino logs a lot of minutes, a lot of good minutes for Coach Connell for the Pioneers. It's a uh, warm day here in the city that it's, uh, I'm, I'm curious how the ice is feeling with it being in the 50s here in almost mid-January, Coach. Well, lay, lace them up and uh, we'll hear from you. All right, and banging it down the right side, Dasher there is uh, Mahar, scoots it out trickles north of the blue line and back into the neutral zone, carrying it down, trying to poke it free there is Cade Tripp, physical good athlete there, scooping it up and nice poke is, uh, that's uh, Lucas Tafe who started on the fence today. Bobby Kinsella was ready to have a breakaway on that, but just great defense by Lucas to yeah, 
He's got high IQ, knows exactly what he's doing. Poking it through there is Joey Velez, our goalie, uh, Cam Velez, uh, brother. And he centers it in, finds um, Tessier. Tessier's been a good role lately. He's really logged great minutes. Ferocious game he played the other day. Changed everything against B Bishop Girton, in my opinion. Well, Tessier Excuse is me. part of, yeah, I was going to say, uh, as a Manchester uh, player. Yeah, ma my bad. <laughs> I was uh, all ready to queue up the notes for uh, uh, Ronzello, excuse me, and Maurice. There's a guy we want to watch, number 11 for the Pios. Maurice was on a tear, and he's on the ice. 12-24, no score in the first frame here at JFK. Trinity visiting Manchester. Number 10, Manchester. And having some issues right there is Renzello had no teammates to pass it to. No teammates and some harassing defense by Connor Cunningham. Who got the start here for Manchester today, or for, for Trinity. I did the same thing, coach. We yeah. get so used to saying these different names. <laughs> Little Molly crew to get things going here. Exactly three minutes off the clock. And here comes the Cam Provencher line. He's been doing a good job out there when he's gotten his minutes. Owen Flynn at the dot one more time against Centrino. And the Pios win it, scoot it down the ice off the dasher board nearest the camera. Kyle Heap. <clears throat> Heavy on color there. Also expert cameraman and editor Ooh. extraordinaire. Big hit there by Kinsella. Well, he took down Kay Tripp, as, who's a very tall, but as a young player, he still has to get, get some, uh, <laughs> some fat to his bones, I guess. Uh, well, the Tripp boys are, uh, are uh, physical players. A lot of backyard hockey for sure. And his brother's going to play college lacrosse from what the uh, scouting report said. Tafe trying to weave his way in. Can't get past the good stick of Pat Mahar. Har takes it away. But Trinity, uh, excuse me, Manchester gets it back and Tafe gets behind the net, can't do it. Ridden off well by Andrew Lewis. And the puck goes caroming through the circle to the left of the goalie Hepler. And Hepler, right on cue, gets into his butterfly and gloves it at the 11 minute even. Absolutely 1-1-0-0 on the clock and it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, obviously losing Brendan Walsh, him and Lucas Tafe could have been basically playing head to head with, uh, you know, oh, without leading a the, the, the team in a lot of ways. And Max Scaluto tried to get it up the ice, intercepted nicely and taken away and taken back by Joey Velez one more time. He gives it up in the left corner. Mac Tripp gets it across here and now moving, trying to move the other way. Uh, yeah, Cunningham tried to get it up the ice, nothing doing. Good uh, checking by Saludo, and it winds its way back around behind Hepler's goal, and he communicates to his back liners, who a uh, beautiful cross ice diagonal pass. Throw it to the corner, dump and chase is on for the Pioneers. Can't win it though, because winning it is uh, Martin for the Kings. Line change there for still Manchester. Still stakes with it. Great hustle by Martin. Takes it down the right slot. Gets a shot. Finds the pads. Hepler squirts it out to the side and behind the net it goes, but into the stick of McLaughlin, who's looking to backhand it. Wraps around slot to slot. Can't do it. Loses the puck and off goes Ronzello. And he's looking for help from behind at the blue line. And a little snapshot right there immediately by Connor Hurley at the 9.53 mark. That was frenetic action, eh? Love the back and forth for the both, both these teams, and it's gonna be a battle. These two teams, obviously they have played each other before. A lot of people are missing for both teams, and. Yeah, the Walsh loss is huge for the Pios, but crushing it in there is Colton LaRoe. He's gonna have to be one of those guys who steps up. He is a starting defenseman, but uh, when, that ha when you lose such a stalwart, you gotta step up. And immediately it goes into the Pio's defensive zone and coming out with it and playing a little more dump and chase. And Ronzello finds it in the left corner and the chase is on with Tafe there. Tafe's got great IQ and he's a terrific skater and he gets a tape to tape. Nice pass, find his wingman, Cade Tripp. Trey Tripp gets tripped along the far dasher board and he finds the ice at 9.20, And we got a full house change from both benches. 10 players changing up spots here on the team. And K-Trip, 
looked like he was a little banged up on that play. He will take some rest and get back out there and do and, time. Uh, we're going to see this uh, Velez Centrino uh, matchup all night long at the uh, at the dot there. This time won by the by Trinity, and coming up the ice is um, a Cunningham one more time gets intercepted, but waiting there to collect the change is Tessier. <laughs> Fanning on it with a big shot was Nasura, number 24. And uh, Mac Trip this time, big brother, fires it in, but waiting are the Pios. And we're under nine minutes at 8.45 and counting, still 0-0. Great job by Velez to get to the, the blue line and keep that puck in for just a few more moments here. A lot of good DNA and IQ in the Velez family, that's for darn sure. Pi Manchester patiently on the back line, good job there getting it up the ice. It's waved off because it hit somebody. And ricocheted to the back corner, collecting it is Trinity. And off to the races. And good, good checking, hip checking defense is, uh, are, is are the Kings. Look to have a break where the Pios, they were rubbed out before it could get started. A nice job hitting, using the boards by Jake Lassard to send it down. Yeah, Lassard showing some real speed there. Wraps back around, throws it into the, Left slot, nice block there by number nine. That is uh, Brady Saroy. He got the start today in the place of Walsh. And the goalie lost his helmet. Hepler, that's uh, one where you want to stop it immediately, of course. No I didn't see how that happened. I didn't, you know, kind of confusing how his helmet came off, he, losing his head. <laughs> well, you don't care how it comes off you just want to blow that whistle no matter what's happening sorry uh, about the shot of the lights and ceiling uh, there ladies and gentlemen that was my old, apologies uh, as, as we've discussed over and again i'm an old lacrosse goalie and uh we go leg uh no pads on the legs and almost as hard as a hockey puck moves just as fast and it hurts do not want to go helmet free in this game he's going to have to come out to quickly discuss things and we see if we get a goalie change here. Yeah, it looks like the Belsic's got his, uh, he's, he's usually the starter. And he's walking down to Hepler. Can't tell whether he's gonna trade helmets or trade places, and he trades places. And Hepler probably going into the backside there of the bench for a little, for some small repairs. Looks anyway, like here we go to the dot. We got uh, Lassard facing off, and he wins it. A uh, quick snapshot right there by uh, McLaughlin. Front goes wide, well wide, of now Labelchik in the goal. Labelchik is an excellent goaltender. We've seen him a bunch here, Kyle. Well, it's going to be interesting. Is uh, you know, very had a seven minutes to be cold on the bench, and now Manchester is going to really put. Uh, a shellacking on him to see how uh, how much he warmed up. And Ryan, Ryan Martin's uh, shot to the right ends up in the far corner. The big scrum on. And look, for a moment, looking like he was going to win, it was Lassard. And he gets crammed into the side. And then a big hit along the boards. And refs stops it. We're going to have a penalty looks here. Looks like we got a cross check. And taking a seat in the bench will be none other than number eight. Yeah. 12, and that is That's Mr. McLaughlin. Andrew McLaughlin, who, shout out to his parents who were <laughs> here giving us the, the nice book with the official numbers and the schedule. It's really helpful to have as a, it's been an interesting few weeks of learning numbers and jerseys and colors, everything like that. All right, he, here we go on the power play PK. First one of the night here. We're at 6.53 and counting. And it's a two-minute penalty again to McLaughlin. And he didn't complain one bit. He knew he'd done it. All right, Trinity backs it out, gets a, takes a breath, and gets it poised and paused. And it trickles north of the blue line. And Velez picks it up. And he's one-on-one -on -one with um, Kinsella. Kinsella backs up and pokes loose. Velez collects it again. Tries to wrap around, nothing doing. He gets closed out and rubbed out along the right corner there at the 620 mark. And up the ice come the piles. They're already at 109 remaining on the power, on the uh, on their power play and the penalty to McLaughlin. No changes yet for the Manchester squad is No, they've you know they they've done a good job 
Pios haven't been able to get set up. Anyway, slinging it down the ice beautifully is uh, Mac Trip. Don't want to mess with him. He's a tough kid. He's a captain for a reason, and his IQ is hot. He is, and we are at 5:45 in the first frame, and we're at 38 seconds left on the penalty as uh, Maurice comes whistling around behind the cage, wraps around, long stride, and zings one in on Velez, who gets into the splits and gets his pads down to the ice and freezes the puck at 537. 30 seconds on the penalty. Cunningham doing a good job of appreciating his goalie right there for stepping up and making those saves because there's two pioneers that were there. And now a very late change here from Manchester has now taken the faceoff will be Jake Lassard <laughs> versus Chris Santero. That was tactically late. That's one where in the NFL they would uh, they give you extra time to sub to match up. Anyway, Manchester's freezing the puck in the corner, chewing up valuable time, and we're rolling down to the 10 second mark on the PK. King's doing a real nice job there. It's and a then lot in, of seconds that just came off right from that. Tafe sees what's happening. He comes in. He's got a great IQ. And we had uh, penalty, uh, excuse me, the whistle sounded with one second left in the penalty. McLaughlin, uh, McLaughlin. is already ready to jump over the boards. <laughs> yeah, he's champing at the bit. It's and right in front of him, too. <laughs> he's ready. And refs exercising some bench control. Kings win that draw, and okay. the penalty is over. Even strength now. And with the puck down, down low, Manchester can possibly set something up if they can get the puck cleanly. Trinity doing a good job, though, really pushing them to the limits in the corner. Well, and there's the previously guilty party, McLaughlin, winning a great uh, battle for that puck. Center. Back pass, couldn't find anybody, goes up the slot and out and back into uh, uh, Canton, who does a good job. Good speed there out of Ryan Martin. And he, and he does a it. phenomenal backhand right there. Just was able to get the pass off the boards and to be able to get it off the defenseman and backhand it past the new goalie for Trinity, Labelzik, and Manchester taking a 1-0 lead 4.33 into this opening first period. Well done right there. That backhand, you will appreciate that for some time. Yeah, Martin with the speed going down the ice and equally fast down there Hits is that Con Cunningham. Trinity almost got an assist from the referee. Wow, big hit there in the corner uh, by Mac Tripp and you expect that from the big boy. Deflected right there. Defreda sails one into the corner, but it ricochets and up the ice comes Frank Tessier with some serious speed, dumps it off to his uh, wingman there, Nisura. Tries to zing it in, can't zing it in, off the pads of Lebelzik. And it collected by uh, Ronzello. Again, he had a great game the other day, and he back, back skates, takes a big hit from behind by Connor Cunningham, goes to the ice, nothing doing. You know, that's a questionable decision there to <laughs> put your back to the defenseman. Well, it happens. <laughs> Common in lacrosse, which is my sport for 40 years. I don't, almost don't want to admit that, but anyway, back all the way down the ice and deftly handled, of course, by the very experienced Lebelzik. But he loses it to Kate Tripp. We'll see what Kate can do. And Puck goes into the gloves. The, I think it de deflected into the net. Yeah, it's up in the netting. We're at 316. Hometown Kings are up one zip. It's Rich McDonough on the call with Kyle Heavey here, doing everything as he usually does. He's the master of all trades. Let's save any notion that he's a jack of all trades. <laughs> he's got that. it going on. There you got it. Anyway, zipping it around is Brady Saroy. And can't get out. And finding the puck is Cade Tripp. And it's like a ping pong match right now, back and forth, <laughs> ducking under that of the Pios. Whoa, it's in the slot. Can you clear it out? Yes, they can. And cleaning it up is Kinsella. Goes to the corner where the scrum is on, and then swatting it down the ice, down the length of the ice, and icing on the Pios. And back we go, and it'll be to the left of Labelzik at 248, and Trinity down one zip. Big face off here. You really got to uh, 
make sure of some fresh legs for Manchester and Trinity doing all that they can right now. They got ACDC blasting on the rafters and you can see the parents all clapping along. Connor Cunningham from the defense spot try to take a shot, got deflected. All right, great speed given chase there is uh, McLaughlin. He wins that puck battle. It stays in the corner, zipping it out, trying to get it up to his uh, fence line there, but getting tripped. No call on Centrino. Probably less about the uh, the movement than it was about his losing his edges there. But fishing it out is uh, Defratis. He gives uh, Coach a lot of good minutes out there. And one more time, we're going to have icing at the 212 mark. It's coming back down. It looks like it'll be to uh, Lebelchik's, Lebelzik's right side there. We'll have Velez Tessier out there as well as Johnny Nazaro, the freshman, doing a good job. And for what it's worth, it looked like Hepler got his gear fixed. We'll look to see whether he uh, gets back on the ice or not. I think as a coach, I you know, I'm a goalie and a longtime coach. I want to see my initial starting goalie stay. He might let him ride the next to the, the rest of the period, but we'll see. Uh, no, great luxury to have two excellent goalies Both at the high school level. Yeah, at lots of experience. Manchester cross ice passes, finally getting into the zone. Able to get around the check as Tessier, but he gives up the puck to Connor Hurley. Oh, oh look at this! Trinity with an opportunity! Ronzello just got away. Liz. Just got away. It was a rolling puck, and it was a little bit quicker than he was on his skates. And Ronzello had that goal mouth just staring him in the face. I think he dumped in three the other day, didn't he? Or was that? Uh, yeah, he. I believe. Yeah, it was. He had a hat. He had a hatty, and he was looking to add to his track record here in the barn at JFK. 137 on the clock in the first. Manchester Kings are up one nothing. Again, recently they were ranked 10 in the Hockey Night in Boston poll, and they got to be feeling great about that. They had their uh, Exeter game postponed the other night, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. That storm came in fast. And it's almost gone. And behind the net it goes. Centrino tries to clean it up and get it out. Can't, minding the net, minding the blue line there. Good job there by, uh, by Canton. Centering feed did not catch anyone. And so Manchester gonna have to <laughs> set something up again. And Hurley couldn't find that puck. He had it and then all of a sudden it was behind him as he skated over it. And here comes Tafe handling it and throws it into the slot. Nothing doing it, ricochets out and into the left corner and across and behind the net. And with 45 seconds, the Piles look to get it up. But Tafe is waiting and zings it back into the goal mouth and is battered away by Lebelsic. And we're under 40. <laughs> Trying to get so it out of the zone it. still. Trendy really having a struggles here. Battle behind the net. Trinity just tr trying to try to get through these last 30 seconds. Yeah, and they had uh, they had um, Lebelsic going back and forth from pipe to pipe. Here come the Kings looking at one more time, throwing it into the uh, into the paint there and falling on top of it and freezing it is the very talented and experienced Lebelsic. Owen <laughs> Flynn kind of doing some uh, some. Really good moves to not land on him. Hey, he stuck the landing, but not on the goalie. Yeah, exactly. And you see, they, they gave each other props. That was a sportsman-like thing to do. I like it. 14 seconds, and here we go to the dot one more time. Maybe the last time before we exit this frame. Nice win by Manchester. They throw it onto the left pad of uh, Lebelsic, who steers it away, and then the follow-up shot off the rebound, and he gloves it with 7.2 seconds. I spoke too soon. And we have another face-off. All it takes is seven seconds to get a quality shot for this Manchester team, apparently, from, from doing the math very quickly here. And yeah, and every team has this pre prepared, but Trinity wins it, and they ricochet it back behind the net and into the corner, and that's going to run us out. Boy, what a frenetic period that was. And the hometown Kings got a goal uh, at the 433 left mark by uh, number two, that would be Ryan Martin. It was a terrific goal on a break and a great hustle. And that gives uh, the hometown, or the home ice Kings, a one nothing lead going into the break between first period and second period. Throwing it over to Kyle. This is Rich McDonough. 
Yeah, we'll take a break here from the JFK Memorial Coliseum. A good one between the Trinity Pioneers and the Manchester Kings. 1-0 Kings. We'll be back after this. And the second period ready to start here from the JFK Memorial Coliseum. Kyle Heavey and Rich McDonough for Manchester Public Television. And, Coach, I put some new batteries in. We sound much clearer now. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, I felt like I was broadcasting a, a Burlington-Vermont game outside there for a while as things wore down. Sounds great now. I just couldn't, didn't have time to change it, and you know, it's kind of a tough spot to be in, but we're ready for the second period as Manchester again leading at one nothing, and Trinity fighting for it, trying to figure things out as- Well, I'm banging it in there as McLaughlin, he gets it to corner and waits for Velez to skate in with some serious speed there. Rick shays off Ron, Ronzello and up the ice. And you are right, coach. It is Brendan Hepler that is out there Returning to his starting position here for the Pioneers. Yeah, in he goal. was in rhythm. You know, he had a little equipment malfunction, not, no fault of his own. And Tafe, the ever smart skater, gets to the back corner and corrals it and starts with some nice poise there. But good, good forechecking there is DeFridis. He gives that coach a lot of great minutes. He's just a freshman. He plays like he's got a, you know, upperclassman IQ. We're at 1357, first whistle, second period. Home, home ice. Manchester Kings ranked 10th uh, and at two to one and they're leading one to nothing after the first. Great job by Brady there. Soros, the sophomore defenseman, get a, in a perfect spot to keep that puck in the zone for Trinity. And now the offsides was called and uh, in the neutral zone that goes fighting who will get the puck. Well, Centrino won that one and it, you know that gives you momentum going in. Good job there to corral it was uh, Canton. He's been doing that all game and getting a good whistling shot underneath his test here. And able to fight that off was Hepler. Nice job in the goal. Trinity wins a little Look at Tess here, just right there. really putting the pressure on the Pioneers to not mess up. Oh, it's a big check right there. No arms up in the air, but uh, definitely a, uh, a unappreciated feeling by Centrino. Kind of miss hit right there. And kicked into the offensive zone for the Pioneers who don't have possession yet. I was able to uh, to talk to Cade Tripp really quickly. More his brother Mac who was spoke up for him and saying that uh, you know Cade was fine. He you know made it look worse than what it was. And now great. Can he get the pass across? Oh nice and check! Oh my goodness! That deserves an assist to the boards right there. Smart play, obviously these two teams know this arena well, but that was a perfect placement to get it over to Cade Tripp who will take that goal and wow. A two nothing lead here for the Manchester Kings and Cade Tripp will appreciate knowing to be in the right place at the right time. Hepler looked to the stick side over his shoulder when the puck came to his glove side and able to just tap it in and wow great goal right there well, we're waiting to see who I, I didn't see who got the assist on that coach so we'll have to and now we got a whistle here thought it might have been Canton but of course as I keep saying we're uh, if I win the lottery I'm gonna donate a new uh, sound system to the arena because you can never quite clearly hear uh, what they're saying from the uh, from the booth there. Dave Levesque and Aaron Brisson with the gold or the excuse me the referee. The refs, yeah. And now we got a f kind of discussion here. K Trip will go to the penalty box. And it will be a five on four for Trinity down yeah. two goals. He was saying he was barking out who he wanted on the ice, trying to get a cheap sub there. Well, well, Manchester wins the uh, the draw in their own zone, but to the corner and pressed out. The Pioneers wedge it and they get it free and they got plenty of space to set up, knock it to the blue line and then handling it there is Hurley. He whistles it around the boards. Gets far away from Ronzello, who can't run it down. Now we got a developing shorthanded two on one. Oh, and missing the. Uh, that was. Um, Jake Lassard, uh, Lassard trying to get it wide over to Ryan right. Martin. And good job on the back line there. 
and forcing it back to the dasher board left side nearest the camera and whistling it back behind Hepler and then taking it up the ice Lassard with some good with speed is Kinsella. Lassard with a big hit on Hurley, or Hurley with a big hit on Lassard. And the Kings fight it off again and get it to Velez. Nice back check there oh, by we uh, Kinsella. Another penalty on Manchester. There's going to be a five on three. Wow. And Velez will go off for tripping. And it's still a minute five left in the first penalty uh, toward trip to trip. And that'll mean they've got a minute five of two-man advantage on the power play. And that's a tough, tall order for any team. Well, it's going to be to McLaughlin, Tafe, and Canton out on the ice. Actually coming off very quickly is McLaughlin. And coming on will be Ryan Martin. Yeah, it was just too much contact and, you know, right into the boards for Velez. They had to call that one. Got to win this draw somehow, some way, and they do, and zinging it down the ice. I think Trinity should have covered for that possibility because it was glaring right at us. And we're at 11.15 in the second frame. Down two nothing are the Pioneers, but up two men right now for the next 49 seconds. That makes it even, right? <laughs> for now. And banging it up to the blue line, handling it nicely. There's Maurice. He had a great game the other day, and the zip. Big sweeping shot by Ronzello, who had that Hattie against Bishop Girton, but nice job by the Kings to ricochet it down the ice. 30 seconds left on the five on three, the first penalty anyway. Look at this. And skate Maurice, job. great skating. He's gonna he puts on the brakes, wraps back around, and he looks to create on the right side of the slot and the dot. Ricochets off the pads of Velez and behind. No, it's oh. actually the defenseman that did a good job there trying to stop that from from happening. And that was Canton. It never hit Velez, it actually hit the defenseman. That one did. And Velez was able to make a save. Well, we're back to a five on four for now. And now getting out of the zone are the Kings. Line change here for Manchester. And able to wow. zing it into that the crowd. That one just crowd. hit the roof. Uh, well, you know. That was one way to get it out, and no souvenirs needed here from the fans. As a great job by the uh, the peanut gallery to send the puck back out on the ice, but 39 seconds remaining on the power play for Trinity. All right, back to the dot goes Centrino, lining it up against uh, Lassard. Centrino wins that one. They bang it out to the blue line, and they throw it into the far right corner wide of the goal, and it trickles loose, and down the ice it goes. Off the wrist of McLaughlin. Hepler, lots, of, lots of speed, lots of power. Hepler not afraid to use his stick. Draw, wants to get an assist sometime this season. <laughs> well, neither one of these two goalies, I mean, you know, afraid of any of this stuff. They're seniors. They understand. Been there, done that. And we're down to just 10 seconds now, folks, on the second penalty and the next PK for the Kings. And they're doing a really good job. Haven't let them set up a whole lot. And back to the corner, chasing it is McLaughlin, trying to win the puck battle. Get some help there from uh, Tessier, who's been playing like a man on fire, like we said a couple times. Throwing it back inside is Tafe. Doesn't make its way, but the ricochet goes to Velez, and then gloving it nicely uh, is Hepler. Got down, got low, could see underneath the screen, and was able to get that glove on. It's a 9.08 mark, and... The Pioneers are down 2-0. Couldn't, couldn't get anything on their two-man advantage just a while ago. Trinity, they got to be unhappy with that as Coach Connell is. That was a golden opportunity to get at least one, if not two. And you had a minute five to right. with a five on three and not able to get anything going. Right in the back line for uh, the Kings. Can't handle it. And here comes the rush from Trin Trinity with... Uh, Venzia giving chase. He had a good tournament, I thought. Venzia did, or Venzia, and a good freeze up. And emerging with that, the puck is uh, the younger Labelzik, number 22, can't get it through. And here come the Kings, making a move, getting on sides, and great chase there by uh, Nasura. He's been showing some great wheels out there. Very impressive. And now, oh, oh and a oh, big man. cross check right there by uh, Labelzik. That'll send him to the sin bin for two minutes. Happened right in front of the ref. And he knows it, he's just not even gonna fight it. Nope. 
Sometimes it's just so stark you can't do it. <laughs> All right, eight nineteen. And the Kings are going to get a look. Two nothing again. Goal in each period so far. And taking the Jake Lassard, Ryan Martin, and McLaughlin will be out here. Well, Manchester's got to be excited. They, they get their space. Keep your spacing here. Move the puck. Keep it moving. Don't let it die on your blade. Oh, look at this nice pick turn over here using his speed. Oh, but a great job by the defense of Manchester. Yeah, dude. that was Maurice who skated beautifully the other day against BG. Made a lot of things happen with his speed, and he did it there. I thought it was a casual kind of lackadaisical back pass there. Uh, no look. And Maurice was waiting for it. Winning the uh, faceoff are the Kings, and they back it out to Tafe, who sends it right back uh, to his wingman, Canton. And four checking there for the Pios, nothing doing. Ricochets off the far dasher, caroms, and it goes over the back line, waved off, nothing happening, of course. And Trinity wins that initial puck battle, and it gets sandwiched in between two Kings, right underneath our camera. Great action here. Kyle Heavey's got it all dialed in and gets out to the blue line, but squirts away from Canton. And he's kind of bummed as he goes back down the ice and then back, fat, back past, feeds it back to his, his wingman and kicking it into the offensive zone. They can't get set up, can the Kings? And there's Maurice one more time. And he's got great IQ, uh, Kyle. Big hit right there. Great attempt by Connor Hurley to get that puck. Still on the five on four are nice the Pioneers. Pass. That knuckles the away. Kill anyway. Yeah, that knuckled away from uh, Tessier. Looked exasperated as he missed that one. And we're down to 38 seconds left in the pe in the penalty. And uh, so far the Kings. Not really a clean power play at all. Yeah. Coach Jeremy Baker will not be pleased with. Wow, that one whistled over Velez's glove. Holy smokes, that was moving. And up oh, no trip. Ruled no trip. Nothing doing. It's all right. Tafe collects it. It's like, kind of like a pass interference. Sometimes sure. your you know, feet get tangled and skating down Nazaro. They Centering feed Boy, in that front. Was, that was Boy. dangerous. Nice job, but nice heads up play by Nasura. Again, he's a freshman with all that speed. And one of those kids we keep talking about, Kyle, who's got a lot of IQ as a freshman. Louis got very lucky there to hit off his skate <laughs> and just sat in front of Brendan Hepler. Seven seconds remain on this Power play for the Kings. Yep. And Kinsella tries to win it, and he does. He gets it around to uh, his Siroy, another freshman. Centering feed. Uh, sophomore. Up for the me. challenge. And we're now even strength coach and coming down the other way with some speed. Yeah, but Kinsella lost really it. can skate. And then also who can skate is K Trip over there. Number five for the Kings gets rubbed out into the boards by Kinsella. I see your speed and raise you one. Nice job hustling for the puck back there is Owen Flynn. Called his name a few times. He's been having a good game. Backside pass, trying to get it out of the blue. Lane. Nice keep in there by uh, Flynn. That was actually impressive for a moment. Uh, yeah, the puck came out of the zone, but from what he's able to do, and now we'll get an icing on the Pioneers with yeah, 5.41 that, to go. That thing was uh, in teleportation speed. There was no doubt that was going to be an icing. Two zip for the home ice Kings here. Ranked 10th again in the uh, Hockey Night in Boston poll. They were here the other day, and the Pios got interviewed after their uh, big win, 5-2 win over BG, the defending champs. Always fun to have them in. Taven Canton out here on defense, trying to make something happen. Let's see with a shot. Canton lifts one, goes wide. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> high. Wide and high. Yeah. All right, nice job of the King getting it up the ice and gloving it down to the ice. That time again is Saroy. And outside the neutral zone, Tafe throws it back in. Nice job by Tafe. Real IQ player. Love watching him skate. And Been very impressed with Saroy. Boy, physical play by Tafe now. So smart play, physical play, fast play. Boy, he's got the whole package. He really does. That's why I think with... Uh Lucas out here, not afraid to step up, whether he has to play offense or defense. Uh, just really can see the puck well. Well, hockey family, his dad's one of the assistant coaches here. 
So 450, we got a we got a stop in the stoppage in the play. Again, the Kings are up two zip on the Pioneers. The Pioneers got off the Schneid and they're one and four. They got their first win and a huge win that we called on Saturday morning here. Uh, they beat uh, Bishop Girton 5-2 in a great game for Trinity. Smart move by Velez, trying to get that shot off the faceoff. Yeah, there's been a lot of action happening in front of Hepler, and he's directing his traffic right now, hoping it doesn't get set up. And keeping it in one more time. The Kings are doing a great job on the blue line, keeping the puck alive. Good scrum, nice feed across ice by Hurley. Finds the ready stick of Maurice. Taken away deftly by the Kings and knocked into the corner where they give chase. And finding the way over there is Provence here, number 27. Colton Leroy just felt the uh, big check in the middle of the ice. He's able to get up, but yep. uh, for a moment there, there was definitely a, a big roar from the Manchester bench. Of well, I tell you, it is clear that the Pioneers are mission, missing Mr. Walsh who, uh, what would you say, a concussion and he's out two weeks. But here comes a guy who can change it is Ron Zello. Squirts through, gets knocked down, and still gets up and finds it. And having to freeze the puck is Velez because there was just too much action in front of him and too many guys coming down the ice. 3.53, frozen puck. It's 2 nothing Kings. And we're going to have a face-off to the goalie's right, the camera's left. And Centrino goes to the dot one more time. Owen Flynn again doing a great doing job a great on job the face -offs. Yeah, Kyle, good call there, buddy. Been very impressed to see what he's been able to do. Yeah, it was kept in the zone by the Pioneers, but you at least had a chance to uh, get something going here. Right and now, we'll see what Brady... Pioneers looking, they haven't had a whole lot of settled offense here. As Manchester's been doing a great job for and back checking. 3.30 to go in the second frame, and the only goal scored by the Kings is giving them that 2 nothing lead that we keep mentioning. Oh, wow, big, big collision there. <laughs> i tell you what, Canton's got a complete game as well. Knocking it in, his trip goes behind the cage, and we get a quick line change with the space provided. That's so what you got to do in the shot there. Big screen, trying to get up there was Andrew Blaze, but Hepler will cover it up and with three or four remaining. i tell you, Tessier just wristed a dart right into the goal mouth. And yeah, like you said, Hepler, great job tracking it through a lot of traffic. 3.04 on the clock in the second. Rich McDonough here on the mic. And Kyle Heavey doing everything today. Color, some play-by-play, -play. <laughs> editing, production, battery changing, you name it, he does it. And a pretty good guy to boot. I appreciate all of that because it's uh, not an easy thing, but I appreciate the, the what we can do for Manchester. and. These kids obviously watch these games and see what they need to work on, what yeah. they could have done differently, what they did well. <laughs> and we're all right there. You can know that there was an icing there yeah. by Tyler Venzia. And he's the master of internships, is Kyle Heavey. So give Mike McDonough a job. Well, let's see what we can <laughs> do when time comes. But a late <laughs> change by the Pioneers. So coming on the ice will be Renzello as well as Connor Hurley, who will take the face off. Well, I think um, if you're the uh, Pioneers, you got to have Ronzello making things happen right now. Okay. He's uh, kind of been shut down. And coming out of that hat trick game against Bishop Girton, no doubt the Kings wanted to shut him down. They're doing so, and it's 2.30 left this in the second period. McLaughlin Lassard line has been wonderful to yeah. see. They've really done a Real heck good of job. a job. Physical, fast, creative, you name it. And, and here they go, giving us some props right away. Behind the net, off the goal, mount in front! Wow. Oh, just missed! Boy, beautiful work in triangle and spacing right there. And a big hit right there by Marden, who's delivered a few of those hits today. And he knocks his man down to the ice. An icing, though, on the Pioneers, <laughs> and they will get a, some changing here as well, as Tyler Venzia, as well as uh, looks like a Chris Centrino will be taking the face off. I gotta say, I miss those Christmas unis that the Pios had. They had the snowflakes all over them. They look great. And we are getting a, uh, well, we need another player out here for the Pioneers and yeah, Pat, Pat Mahar, Mahar will. Yet another freshman who logs a lot of great time here. And a smart. And he, takes the, he goes to the dot and wins it. Nice job ricocheting it back out around the ice. Oh. Big, big hit out there 
There's Martin again, he's getting it done. And it trickles and slides north of the blue line and giving chase is Cunningham who bats it over and back down the right side, the far side of the dasher they go. Just missed that with the Kings with some speed, a big hit right there, Martin. And he goes to the, the bench. And takes, uh, take that with you. <laughs> nice job by Martin. Great shift by him. Pass was over to Centrino, but deflected oh. there. And a great save after excellent puck handling by uh, Proventure. Proventure. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm blown away that he got that down to the ice and stayed on side. Cade gets on sides, coming down in oh. a big open ice hit. It breaks his stick and everything. Yep. And Cade, hopefully, is going to be all right. Cade Tripp, he's looking like he's feeling it. There's a multiple yeah, he's trees down there. That and was a big hit. And now Manchester. Coming in, it's going to be offsides. All right, here comes Velez. Yeah. Is not able to see was Tessier. And look at all the damage here out on the ice here. We got broken twigs all over. Looks like stick season. And the trainer <laughs> has come to check on Cade as that was a monster hit. He was got the puck on sides, was bringing it in the zone, and able to step up, was a pioneer player. And well, can only hope that he's going to be all right yeah. as... Obviously, we know that concussions are a big thing. Trinity certainly knows full on as losing Brandon Walsh has been a yeah, I huge part of around, their game. I can't see around the stanchion. Is he getting some? Uh, is he getting looked at? He's now? sitting there. Okay. He's, the, the trainer is sitting right next to him, and okay. they'll go through the uh, the process of who the president is, what your address is, all those fun questions that you oh, yeah. get asked when you get a concussion. Yeah, that, I've coached for 30 plus years, gotten a couple of my own dings, and. You got to take it really seriously. I remember lying to my coach when I was a uh, football player. High and school. a trip here and yep. a penalty on Manchester with 35 seconds to go wow. in the second period. And yeah, we'll see if it is Ryan Martin who will be coming to the penalty box or who it might be. Actually, it will not be Martin. We're waiting to see. Oh, and finally, we've got the culprit. And it is Jake Lassard. No, yeah. I'm wrong. It is going to be Ryan Martin. Yeah, I thought it was Martin initially. Yeah. I felt like I was at a Bruins game with trying to figure out where the yeah. uh, the scratch ticket is under the hockey <laughs> the hockey uh, mask there. Well, he's been Mr. Physical for the last three or four shifts, so you know, a bit too much lumber there. And a faceoff won by the Pioneers, barely in. kept inside. And great job by the. Trinity squad to keep that in and now can they keep it in? They are not able to and this will kill off at least 10 seconds. At least, yeah. They might not even get set up. Might not have to. Bringing it back <laughs> into the zone, waiting for his teammate. Now an opportunity here. Can he do anything on the backhand in front? A save by Velez and now backhanded out and Hepler will try to get it quickly to someone but the time will tick off the clock and that will do it for the second period. Manchester able to add another to their lead and take a 2-0 lead into the second intermission. Coach, your thoughts? I mean, uh, some big hits, some big goals, and uh, for Trinity, they are happy to have only allowed one in as there was ample opportunities for Manchester. Well, it's just a physical, fast uh, period there. And, uh, you know, just a barrage. Again, they had a barrage in the first period, did Manchester. They were outshot uh, Trinity 16-5. to And, um, you know, a little bit level in the second period, but still the advantage Manchester, and consequently it is to zip. And when we come back, fresh sheet of ice. Fresh sheet of ice. buck 25 left on that PK. And so no, that'll be interesting. No need to change batteries this time, so we'll get all <laughs> the info that we can. It's Rich McDonough and Kylie Heath for Manchester Public Television back with the third period right after this. 15 minutes up on the board, and we are ready for the third period here between the Manchester Kings and Trinity Pioneers. Coach Rich McDonough and Kylie Heath for Manchester Public Television. Coach, I know you got the uh, the shot numbers. What are we looking at so far for it, what we've uh, seen out of this game? <laughs> well, the numbers, uh, if you want to talk numbers, it's Manchester 24 and Trinity 6. Six shots. It seems like it's been a little bit more than that, but I, I'm not doing the, the counting I, here. I got it from the table, and uh, it, it's made me scratch my head. I think they had a few more than that, but uh, whatever it is, it's lopsided, and it's a reason that uh, Trinity finds itself down to zip. But 
uh, they have a fresh sheet of ice and the puck and a man advantage for the next one minute. And try to get it across. And I expect a little bit of chippiness here with uh, K Tripp, who's back out on the ice, which is a great sign to see. Yeah. Obviously, that hit was a big one, but uh, breaking a stick is expensive. <laughs> sure is. Got to go to uh, play it against sports. Anyway, getting it down the ice are the Pios and getting it inside the neutral zone and through the neutral zone and into the O zone. Zipping oh it off my of goodness, the outside of the net in front. Monster hit by Tafe on, uh, <laughs> wow, Kinsella's going to be feeling that for a week. And Tafe backhands it and ricochets off of the goaltender, Hepler. He tries to set it up, but great forechecking. Whoa, and he heads it into uh, the other Velez who misses wide left. And it looks like the Kings are on a power play. It certainly does. <laughs> it's uh, impressive what oh, just barely missing Tessier. I got to say, the uh, Pioneers are really kind of loafing, skating slowly, and they look lethargic right now. Uh, they've only got a minute left, a uh, second left, and it's out. Power play is over. We are even on the ice, five on five. Big swat by, um, look like uh, Maurice there, finding the pads. <laughs> and Cunningham, who hello. already had been hit with a puck pre-game by oh, his yeah, own the teammates, is still, uh, he's, he's certainly laughing right now, but he, that's going to hurt a little bit for sure. Uh, he's a tough kid. His father's a cop, you know. And he comes off the ice here, late change. And They've along done with him will be Mr. Velez. So, and then taking the drop again to Centrino. He's done a good job tonight. Wins another one, pushing it back over and outside the blue line. Just not Can't able to it. keep that was Defridas. Not much you can do. Your your stick's only so long. And now, all right, got to be on net and. You can't even count that as a shot because his own teammate kind of sent it towards him. But with 13-13 to go, Trinity down two has got to get something going. They came so close to getting a goal off a of deflection to start this period. But shot there goes up high. And now Manchester with putting the pressure on down low. And another broken twig. And look at that, set up wow. beautifully. And Ryan Martin will get another goal and the assist by Andrew McLaughlin. And Manchester now leads it three nothing. Beautiful pass, just found Martin right in front and no blue jerseys are around, all white. And it, a 3-0 lead here well, for the Kings. And I couldn't see who broke the twig for the Pioneers, but he came off the ice instead of playing D with Stickless there. That's, um, I don't know if that's a high school rule or not, um, but certainly, you know, basically gave them a power play for just enough time and they converted it. And that was, that was the zone where he left. Sent up into the neutral zone now. Pioneers having some issues, and that was Max Saluto who had it kind of hit off his stick. Yep. And still sent down low. Trinity, we've seen them do worse, but you really wanted them to do better after what we saw on Saturday. I think they obviously down three goals. Let's see what the lines can do with DeFridis as well as Maurice. And Connor Hurley. Yeah, Coach Connell's got to play a little bit of a chess match here, shell game, and see who he can line up and get some production, productivity out of, out of one of these lines. But Manchester has been shut, shutting them all down. Big opportunity here. Losing an edge, going around the in front. Oh, just not able to get a good defense right there by Ryan Boylan. Tough when you lose an edge here, especially in your own zone. And now sent down, and this will go for an icing. So Pioneers apparently could hear me, and obviously I've been putting the pressure on. But again, that was a big loss of an edge. And well, we'll see what the Hurley line can do with trying to get an opportunity to score a goal. Get back in this, and you, as you know, two goals leads. Well, face off one. Three goal lead's a good lead. <laughs> Certainly is, and now coming in, shot there to flex up high, and Tessier will try to get another opportunity to get a goal. 
And we're at 11.52 in the third period here. Rich McDonough and Kyle Heavey. And we're gonna go to the another face-off. A lot of face-offs have been in front of Hepler's left here today. Velez will try to win this and able to get it. Is Velez and kind of got locked up. Still trying to skate around. Shot saved by Hepler and kept in. Nice work right there by Lucas Tafe. Well, we said that a few times today, I realize, Coach, but you know, still, uh, it's a, uh, wow, high up. It's gonna go all the way down for an icing on Trinity. 11.24 in the third now. And back to the dot goes Centrino. We've seen him all game long. And he's up against Lassard one more time. Centrino can't win this one. Goes behind Lassard and back to the blue line, keeping it in control. But it trickles north of the blue line. Giving chase there is Cunningham. He of the tough shins and sails down the ice, whistles it into the goal mouth. And Hepler's got to freeze it at the 11.07 mark with the rush coming. Jake Lassard was skating up hard and I gotta say, that was a heck of a job there to pass it off the boards to himself was Connor. And uh, you know, bouncing puck is sometimes dangerous. Always a bouncing biscuit as Craig, Craig Lockwood oh, said Oh, almost with the Hattie. Oh, Ryan Martin had the, you know, just had gotten a pass, but able to save it enough was Hepler. You know that the Kings are gonna be trying for it now. Rubbing him out. Sent across, and Cunningham almost looked like he was learning to skate there, but was able to do the job and do the job well. Coming into the neutral zone. Well, you're getting down to desperate time here for the Pioneers who whistle it in and behind Velez back there. Velez has barely crap broken a sweat today, but he does right there, gets it with his right uh, pad and kicks it away and off to the races goes Provencher going down the right side Dasher throws it into the corner and trickles north of the goal mouth and that was dangerous and doing a good job was Hepler to react and steer it wide and how here come the Pioneers in the hands of Kinsella who whistles it over to the right side far side from Kyle Heavey on the camera and then the Kings snuff that out immediately and get down the left side in the speedy skates of Tyler Canton well, it's been back and forth hockey for the last few minutes here, and uh, kind of a lot to pay attention to for both both teams. A lot of line changes, and an opportunity right here from Mac Tripp in front. Let's see if he can get the goal. And it's saved by Hepler. And an opportunity for Velez to get on the scoreboard with a puck in the net himself, but it was saved. And Yeah, Hep Hepler did a great job tracking that. That was a long you know, sliced toward the goal mouth and it went through about three people seeing I puck and he did a great job getting a hold of that. 9.28 in the third period. Down three zip are the Pios in blue. They dodge another bullet and get it outside, but it doesn't. Great way to shut the gate there at the top on the fence. They're able to do it again. Look at the, this a defensive work by the Kings. Yeah, Canton is really a stone wall back there at the blue line. Finally, Trinity decides to use the other side of the ice to get it past and get it out of the zone for a moment. Well, and the Kings throw it into the corner, which is the right thing to do with the three nothing lead. They give some chase and they sandwich, absolutely sandwich Venzi oh, along the Oh, another big hit. And this time it went against Tessier. But Manchester again putting pressure on and now finally out of the zone. And look at this, an opportunity, a three on one. Shot there, but Velez and taken really a rough spot right here for Tyler Venzia as he was getting knocked around. Well, I'll tell you, um, King did not appreciate that. He kind of used his stick to try to hit Velez. Kinsella just couldn't get that. The puck was knuckling, couldn't get it on his blade, and we got a slash. And uh, <laughs> Venzi is going to the box. That'll be two minutes. But along with him in the yeah. box is Tyler Canton. Yeah, so. he was surprised. And we weren't surprised on the Canton thing, but uh, Venzia 
did the same thing. All right, so that equals it up. N no harm, no foul, even though they fouled. <laughs> They're going to, sitting in the bench there. Bringing it out is Maurice, and he risks it. Goes into the chest protector of Velez. Kids seeing the puck very well right now. Way to knock it loose is uh, McLaughlin. Martin was trying to get this. Oh, it just barely missed. And now we will get a penalty on Trinity, who will touch the puck, trying to get off the ice. It was Cam Velez beneath us, but he was not able to. And now a fresh set of legs with Joey Velez, as well as Lucas Tafe will come on the ice for this power play. And we got a tripping call. And taking a seat will be Mr. Colton Leroux. 8-12 to go, and Manchester shot there. Saved. Hepler making it look easy right there. You got to be happy with that as a former goalie. That was it. He had a good long look at it. No screen, nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> and now another opportunity. Shot just goes wide. Martin in front trying to get his hat trick. It will send it back down. Now we'll get the puck, see what he can do with his wrister. Saved by a leg pad. And now, look at this. Odd man rush for the Pioneers. Trying to keep it around. And now Velez, along with McLaughlin out here. Goes back behind into the corner. Velez with his stick up in the air, ready to take a Ovechkin type shot. No, nowhere in there to get him the puck yet. Setting things up, skating around, skating around, looking, sends it down low again. In front, McLaughlin just not able to get it around. And Martin will set up in front as well, trying to see if he can get the puck. They're gonna try to get it to him, but not able to, and the Pioneers will send it down the length of the ice. <laughs> Losing his skates there was McLaughlin right in front of his own bench. And he got a little ribbing coming off the ice. Pressure behind the boards. Now taken, setting something up here are the Kings. K trip back after the, sitting out the last few seconds of the second period with a shot there, but it's gonna be taken by Hepler. And with 31 seconds to go on this penalty kill, the Pioneers will get some fresh legs out here. Oh no, they will not be able to. The referee said otherwise. The face off won by Manchester. Fighting around for it, setting something up. Pass across, shot, and off the post. Still in the zone though for Manchester. Kind of a tough pass, able to Keep it in, around. Shot there, up, goes behind the net. And with three seconds to go, will be even strength after this, but trying to get one more shot, and it's deflected away, and Kinsella able to get the puck up. Oh, but a great defensive work. Great check there by Tafe. And Tafe has got to be strong here, able to get off his skate, and now tries to push it up to a teammate to try to get out of the zone, and able to finally do it. Back around, a lot, of, a lot of ping pong stick lost by someone. Martin back out there again. Already two goals and would love to have a third. Centering feed in front. Oh, pushed wide. We got a delayed penalty. We got the goalie pulled. We're gonna go six on five for a moment here, but that quick whistle right after they get the goalie off. Wow, just um, Trinity again, gonna be on the penalty kill as I did not see the penalty. I don't know if you did, but. No, it's been an avalanche all day. And we got an elbow. Oh, a tough spot. And taking a seat will be Brady. Yeah, yeah Saroy. He's been physical all day. That one was just too much for uh, Ref Brisson. And two minutes, an extra man, as we call it in lacrosse, depending on which area of the country you're from. <laughs> He's got his. Arm up in the air like it's an yeah. icing, but yeah, he can't have an icing on yeah, that. Yeah, I, th I think he was just in the moment, in the previous moment. Oh, a big hit right there. That's great, great defense there by Maurice. 
Sam Maurice saying what up to Andrew. Another hit, Martin able to get the puck. Nice job around. getting it around top. Here comes one from the slot. Oh. Seeing it unbelievably through all that, through a sea of legs was uh, Hepler, and he takes a deep breath after that one, man. And we're under five minutes at the 4.45 mark. The Ford F-150 final five here, as <laughs> Jack Edwards will say. Tough loss by the Good loss. job by the Kings to get it in. They put it, probably want to put it back to the corner. They can't have, they don't have a chance. No breathing room there going down the ice now. Shot there and Hepler will get it. Boy, Tessier was looking long. And 56 left on the penalty to uh, McLaughlin. Saroy. Not appreciating that little check at the blue line as uh, he was trying to get on sides and was yeah. run, run into. He didn't appreciate it, but they're all used to it. That's true, too. <laughs> Les wins the faceoff, but the referee kind of in the way comes out of the zone. And take, they, they don't mind this. All they're doing is the, the, just killing time right now. Lost the puck for a second, sent down into the corner and able to get it coming around. Good patience by the Kings right now. Great spacing, get it around. It looks like practice right now, look yeah, at this, does, so it, easy. Well, I was watching them practice exactly this right before, good cross ice pass, slot to slot. Nothing doing, but they maintain control and possession. And tick, tick, tick goes that clock, they do it again. And they're gonna look for the slot, backhander no, and getting Velez and having to go across pipe to pipe is Hepler, nice job. But again, the clock is ticking down. You're just chewing time and warming up the bus for your opponents. You can hear Velez <laughs> tapping to let them know. Beautiful pass and give back there. Finds a slot. Tafe is smart, he just goes away, goes to corner and chews more clock. Penalty's over and out to the underneath the blue line. Kings maintaining possession. This has been an eternity of a possession for the Kings. And the Pioneers got to feel winded. Kings putting on a clinic right here they of really skating are. and passing. I think they learned a little bit from a team such as Hanover. Great job by Tafe up at the blue line there. He's going to bang it through, and it heads toward the opposite post. Nothing doing goes wide and behind into the corner. And Velez corrals the puck and throws it up the slot. Nothing doing. Tafe is there, puts it on his blade, can't do it. And then in comes, wow, boy, I tell you what, Canton was looking at that goal mouth with the big windup, nothing doing, it goes wide again. And we're at almost 2.30 left, Kyle. Come wrap around shot, <laughs> falling down, unable to get it yeah, is Flynn. Owen Flynn. And finally sent the other length of the ice, but it's gonna be an icing. Coach, it's been a heck of a job by the Kings. It's been over two and a half minutes that the puck has been in the offensive zone for Manchester. Yeah, like I said a minute ago, it was an eternity. But a Hepler in the goal is absolutely gassed. Why? He faced 24 shots <laughs> through periods one and two, and he's seen maybe 10 to 15 so far, and we still got two, uh, two bucks and a half left to go in this third period. Now finally the Pioneers are able to get the puck and sent down into the corner to see what they can do as they're running out of time yeah, in this game. Nice close up view as it ricocheted down the board and we got another stoppage at 2.11. For Manchester, they will be next heading down to the Salem Ice Center on Saturday to fin face off against the Wyndham Jaguars, a 7.20 start on that. Yeah. So late contest. Yeah, huge. And, you know, Wyndham got knocked off by Bo the other day. That was a big upset. But Wyndham, one of the teams to beat. And, um, you know, they got a tough, they got tough sailing because then their reward for seeing Wyndham is a couple days later, they <laughs> visit Pinkerton. Oof, a tough <laughs> go of things right there. But they're playing really well. They got to feel good about things. I mean, this is a team that just waxed the defending champ BG Cardinals. Obviously not as good as they were last year, not yet. Uh, Coach is building up for a playoff run and that's what you do. But, you know, Man Manchester's finding themselves in a good position. They've got good rhythm and they're middle of the playoff pack, man. It's good to see. They gotta feel great about it. And with those sweet unis, they're making it work. Oh, Just boy, McLaughlin couldn't get there. that one to dump. And now with the empty net, we'll see if Ryan Martin is able to get the puck possibly. I tell you what, my key to the game, I said it earlier, and let's see what the 
Pioneers can do with the remaining clock. It's a minute and a half left. Martin with the puck, tries to deflect it off. Able to and sent down. Yeah, they're watching that empty net. Their back liners are ready. But they rubbed out Ronzello today. And that was a key. He had that Hattie against uh, the Cardinals the other day. And they have made him pretty much ineffectual today. That's a great game plan, well executed by Manchester. You gotta love it if you're the coach. Sent down and Pioneers with the missing goaltender, a six on five. Backhander <laughs> just goes wide. Boy, McLaughlin, second time in a row, he just a near miss at that empty goal mouth. And sent down, able to try to get something going here <laughs> as Cunningham now Cunningham, trying to get it out of the zone. Attitude. Cunningham loses the possession, but now here we go. Let's see if they can get it from a long distance. And that's going to be Just uh, misses, icing. and that'll be an Everybody. icing with 31 seconds to go. It's like the shooting gallery at Weir's Beach right now, <laughs> and, and they're running out of quarters. <laughs> My kids love that place. Absolutely. I do too. For Trinity, they'll be heading down to Nashua to yeah. play a 340 game on Saturday. Yeah, that'll be at Conway. They're playing South Pelham. There are two Nashua teams, but South Pelham. And, uh, you know, they got a, a South Pelham's one and three. Trinity has a chance to get another game and get into that middle of the pack. And that's where you want to be four weeks from now in striking distance, ready to make a move. Martin's still out there wanting this puck. And it. Hey, and see Bovez. if he has an opportunity here. Can they get the puck up to him with the six seconds to go? Five. It's going to be no icing called, and yeah. the Manchester Kings will get a 3-0 victory over their city rival in the Trinity Pioneers. Yeah, and Velez gets himself a shutout there. That always feels good, even, even if the other team doesn't get a whole lot of shots. As a goalie myself, you feel great about it. Uh, had one shutout. Lacrosse is in, almost impossible to get a shutout. But Velez, you know, he did exactly what he had to do when he had to do it. But awesome game plan uh, by Manchester to take away Trinity's strengths after they were feeling some serious and well-deserved mojo at, after their win against BG on Saturday. And, Kyle, we called that game, and this was a great one to call, too. Yeah, it's, it was a uh Definitely a, a tough spot to be for Trinity without one of their best players. Yeah, Walsh. And Walsh, we hope you wish you the best and we'll hopefully see you in two weeks. But for Trinity, we'll see you on Monday as you'll be facing the Keen Blackbirds for a one o'clock game Should here be physical. on Martin Luther King Day. And for the Pioneers, they will try to get back on the winning track. And for the Kings, they'll try to continue to go on the winning track. You can see the players discussing things. And uh, coach, your player of the game, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Ryan Martin, who was able to get yeah. the lead one nothing and, and added another one. Well, and he was, the, he was the tone setter, period. He was physical, fast, did those things, converted when he had to. And um, you know, we kept calling him because he was 100% active today and he was the tone setter for the game, period, end to end. Well, that will do it for today's broadcast. Again, Manchester with a 3-0 win over Trinity for Executive Director Jason Cody, Operations Specialist Joe Lahr, Operations Assistant Brendan McCormick, for Coach Rich McDonough doing a great job with the play-by-play -play and the color commentary. I'm Kyle Heavey. It's been a pleasure to be with you. We'll see you again soon. Have a good night, and thank you for watching Manchester Public Television.